All right, so we are starting our last book of this school year. And the book that we're going to read this week is called We Make Good Choices. And every single one of you guys in room 117 makes good choices every single day. So you're going to be very, very familiar with the choices these characters make in the book. So since it's Monday, we're just going to look at the pictures. And you guys have a copy of the book at home, so if it's easier to look at your own copy, then go right ahead. So what do you notice about this first page, the, the cover page? We notice kids, right? I notice, the first thing I notice is their smiles. Everybody looks happy in this picture. And then when I look more carefully, I notice all three of these kids are eating a snack. And it looks like this boy came over and didn't have a snack. And I think this girl is going to share her snack with the boy. Do you think that's a good choice? Sharing? I sure think so. You guys are great sharers. Now here's our title page. And in this picture, what do you guys see? Is the little girl giving that lady an apple? So once again, thinking of others, sharing your food, sharing what you have with those that don't have, that's great choices. Oh, I like this one a lot. Can you see what's happening here? It looks like these guys are on a bus and this little boy has a seat on the bus and he notices an older man who is walking with a cane who he thinks needs the seat more than him. So he gets up and offers his seat to the man. Boy, is that a good choice, huh? I remember when I lived in New York City and I was pregnant with Sam and people all the time would offer me a seat on the subway and it would just make my day. It would make me feel really good that somebody was so thoughtful of me. So good choices make a difference to the people that you are treating kindly. And here's the picture we saw on the title page again, the little girl giving an apple. I think the older woman might be her teacher. So just being thoughtful and generous with her teacher. You guys are thoughtful and generous with me all the time. Oh, this is another very thoughtful choice. Do you see this man has a lot of heavy boxes in his arms? And it would be really difficult to open the door when his hands are so full. And the little girl in the picture recognized that. So she opened the door for him. That was a really thoughtful choice to open the door for somebody else. All right. This picture, I'm not 100% sure what the good choice is in this picture. We're going to need the words tomorrow to help us. It looks to me like the kids might be in the library or the computer lab working or playing on the computers and they have headphones. I noticed somebody laughing and somebody, it looks like this guy right here in the middle going, shh. So I wonder what that good choice is going to be. Our words will help us figure that out. This is another page that the picture doesn't give us all the information, does it? It could be that the little boy is using his manners and saying thank you to the people who work in the cafeteria for making his food. Or maybe it's that he, he's making healthy choices with what he's eating. I don't know. There's a couple different things this one could be, so we will learn more tomorrow when we read the words. And here's that first picture we saw again where the three friends have a snack and they share it with the little boy who comes to join them. All right. 
it looks like maybe the school day is all over. Everybody is heading home, crossing the street. I notice that there is a crossing guard holding up a stop sign, protecting them. I'm wondering if it's the crossing guard that's making the good choice by protecting the kids. Hmm, we'll find out more when we read the text tomorrow. Oh, and this is a good one. Many of you guys play unified basketball, unified bowling. I know some of you guys play baseball outside of school. And at the end of the game, it's so important to congratulate your opponents for their hard work. That's making a really good choice. All right, so I like that book a lot. And I'm looking forward to reading it tomorrow so we can learn even more information about what those pictures were telling us. Good job, guys.